How to Make the Best of Things from Blackie's Storytime Book. It's too bad to put off the match, said Kathleen angrily. Of course I'm sorry Miss Reeves is ill, but we should not make her worse by playing hockey. Now our half-term holiday will be quite spoiled. Nora did not reply, but the thud of her spade as she dug on diligently sounded as if she did not agree with her schoolfellow. I don't believe you care a bit, went on Kathleen. I should have thought you might at least feel disappointed for the sake of the school, seeing that you are captain of our team. Nora looked up at last. Disappointed? exclaimed she. Of course I'm disappointed, but I certainly don't want to have the match until Miss Reeves is better, seeing how kind she's been in coaching us in our play. Anyway, what is the good of making a fuss? Why don't you do something? Ha! Huh, grunted Kathleen. You are so dull and unfeeling. Now I am different. I feel things very much. Mama told me my French nurse used to say, what a sensitive child Mademoiselle Kathleen is. Or was it sensible? I really forget which. Not sensible, I should think, replied Nora shortly, and her spade thudded the ground harder than ever. When she had done up the whole border, she fetched a basket of seedlings, white and purple and yellow. Kathleen watched her with interest. Hmm, what pretty colours. How are you going to arrange them? Don't you think they would look sweet in groups? First a group of purple, then a group of white, and so on. Nora stopped in her work. I think that would be beautiful, she said. I wonder if... I, I suppose you would not care to do the planting while I dig the opposite border. I promised Mother to do both today, and it takes longer than I expected so I'm afraid I shall not finish them in time to play tennis with the boys after tea. Kathleen closed her umbrella promptly. I should love to help, she replied joyfully. I'm very fond of arranging flowers. She was already on her knees before Nora had turned away with her spade. Both girls worked happily all sunny afternoon. The borders looked very pretty when they were finished and Kathleen justly admired her taste as she walked from one end of the path to the other looking at them. So did Nora's mother when she came out of the house to invite Kathleen to tea and to tennis afterwards. You have spent a very useful holiday, even if it has been a rather dull one, she said smiling. Dull? exclaimed Kathleen. It hasn't been dull. I've been enjoying myself immensely. Dull, I mean, because of your disappointment about the match, replied Mrs. Fraser. Oh, the match, cried Kathleen, laughing. Why, I'd forgotten all about it. You see, we've been so busy that we had no time to think of anything but our work. 